Hiya wildlings! So I have a little range of motion drill for you with some stretches that will look really familiar but we're going to try them in a slightly different way than you might be used to. So a lot of us are used to trying to do this stretch from yoga which I just want to point out that the only reason, the only thing I did to be able to have this range of motion was to be born. So just remember that. So, but a lot of us are used to trying to get to our toes in yoga and pull ourselves forward into a stretch or to try and pull ourselves forward into a stretch into this cobbler's pose. So that passive stretching often might feel good in the mo moment, but if we're trying to change our range of motion, it'll actually usually have a rebound effect as your joint senses that your connective tissue is getting taken beyond a range of motion that it can control and it'll end up restricting your range of motion. So what we can start to do is work with active stretching, adding some resistance and something called pendiculation to help have an active stretch that teaches your muscle tone to hold a longer resting position so that it teaches your nervous system that this is now the range of motion that's available. So Neely the cat is going to help out with this and hopefully not get kicked. He's been very cranky lately, so there might be a literal cat fight in your future. That's exciting. So this pendiculation or this active stretching, another thing that separates it from a, a passive stretch where we pull ourselves into the stretch is that in a passive stretch, we're only sending information from our motor sensory uh, neurons to our spinal cord. It doesn't go all the way to our brain to teach new, a new range of motion. But with this pendiculation, it goes all the way to our brain so that we learn at a, um, a sort of underlying level, an under cognitive level, a new range of motion that's available to you that lasts for a while. Um, so grab for yourself some kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a swipe, some kind of stretchy band, um, and oh, also, this is really important. Set your stretchy bands or whatever you've got to the side for now and yawn. Just take a great big stretching yawn. Let me adjust this so I'm not yawning into it. And that's the best way I can describe a pendiculation. So it's that yawning sensation. So as we go through this, imagine that you can yawn with your whole body, lean back, Without using your hands, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your feet drop. As you take an inhale, and as you exhale, yawn out through your knees and your elbows. Inhale and lean back. Lift your legs, and as you start to push your legs out, don't worry about them going straight. Just imagine that you can yawn your arms and legs out. Inhale, lean back. Feet together, bend your elbows, exhale, yawn through your knees and elbows, head does whatever it wants, lean back, for those of you overachievers, you can add a teaser in, as you exhale, yawn out through your arms and legs, try to sit up, we'll do that twice more, lean back, feet together, exhale and yawn. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, lengthen and yawn. Inhale, lean back. Bent knees, bent elbows, yawning. Inhale, exhale, extending arms, extending.
from here. Grab your stretchy band. I go with a lighter setting and what I'll say is that this looks easier than it is. Take the middle of the band and wrap it around the out steps of your feet. Grab on at any tension, take an inhale. As you exhale, pull up through the band, push down through your feet and just yawn with your whole body into that. Oh, feels so good to me. Inhale and lean back. Keep the loop around your left foot. Hold the ends of the tails in your right hand. Start to straighten your arms and legs with that yawning feeling as you pull your arms straight. Looks easy, maybe? Jeff, does it look easy to you? Jeff is filming this. Oh, he's shaking his head now. And then bring your feet back in, both feet in. Pull up with your arms, so let that feel good. We go to the other side. Lean that back. Band against your right foot. Hold the tails in your opposite hand and push out through your legs as you pull your arms straight. Try to sit up really tall. Lean back. Feet in. Pull up. Lean that back. Left leg, right arm. Yawn out through your whole body. Lean that back. Feet in. Pull up through your arms. Maybe some shoulder rolls. Lean that back. Foot, right foot, left arm. Push that out straight. Adding on this time. Lean back. Pull up through your arms, both feet in the loop. Maybe you have a different grip. Just sort of a reset position. Listen for the change. Lean back, loop the band in your left foot, your hand, uh, the loops in your right arm. Sit up tall. Bent knees, if you're like this, 100% legit. If you're sitting up on a surface to give your spine a little bit more room, awesome. Extend your arm, extend your legs as much as they will. Some of you might be looking like this, legit. Rotate your torso away from the looped foot. Try to keep pulling the band and then let the tension of the band t uh, rotate or uh, flex your spine laterally towards your toes and then pull back up. Letting it lengthen and pull back up. So some of you have figured out by now that if you brace your arm to the floor, it can help control this arm movement, which is um, not so easy. So here we're training now your end ranges of motion. Try three more. Lean, pull, don't worry about the range of motion. Lean. Time, lean and pull up. Sit up tall and try to keep the twist. Keep smooshing your looped leg butt cheek down to the floor and then try to take a really big inhale and send your chest up to the ceiling. Exhale, whoosh, let that go, shake it off. And then you might stand, take your time to recalibrate. And notice if there's any difference between your two sides. Can you see, Jeff is filming. Can you see a difference between my really. two sides? I really feel like I'm leaning pretty heavily. There's this a way. little dip on that side. Yeah, cool. All right, let's try the other side. So let's go back to our reset position. Loop both feet in. And here's where you might also feel a difference any position with your elbows or wrists and a nice big pull up. Oh, I feel the two sides are very different. And when you're ready, lean that back. Now, probably the trickiest part here is to not kick the cat who's already very cranky about life in general. Lean back, loop the band in your opposite foot, get up and over the cat, whatever obstacles you have and push the band out. Remember bent arms, bent legs, totally legit. The goal here isn't straight arms and straight legs. Like 
your moral value will remain the same regardless of the angle of your knees and elbows. Twist away from your banded foot and then keep that nice big reach as you lean up and over and sit up. So you might notice if you're prioritizing a range of motion by kind of scrunching into your spine to get that range of motion or if you're trying really letting your spine follow along and stay really long try four more bracing your hand can help working to one day maybe not brace your hand here's three two and you might notice over time that more range of motion just naturally comes as your nervous system realizes your joints are safe here. Once you finish that third one, lift your chest, push your looped leg, butt cheek, ooh, push it down to the floor, that action, and take a huge inhale, try to go really bright through your chest. Exhale, ooh, let it go. Bring your feet in and just drop. You can put a block here or something to let your head rest. Easy breath in. Let it go. And when you're ready, curl yourselves back up. Take a few shoulder and neck rolls. A nice big sweep up with your arms. And let it go. What are you noticing? Leave a comment, let me know how it went for you, and let's all learn from each other and share with each other our experiences. This one's not a gimme. It's it's I think it looks easier than it is, um, so it's a little bit sneaky. So let me know how that went for you. Thanks, wildlings. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Mwah.